to that point. But, but to that point, uh, she did have a strong debate performance. And part of the commentary, though, is, is does she have a strong debate performance because it's a relatively weak field? Uh, is that part right. of her strength? And would a Biden have made a different? Would a field like 2008 have made it a different debate? Uh, but one of the big questions was, you know, and I don't think she did give a terribly strong answer on her consistency. A keystone is part of that. On other issues, she has moved left. On a couple issues, she's moved right. But Hillary Clinton explaining this is here's one of them, the keystone vote. Does this work? We know that if you are learning, you're going to change your position. I never took a position on Keystone until I took a position on Keystone. <laughs> yeah. She, she, wasn't, she, wasn't, <laughs> right. she wasn't for it before she was against it, Peter. Uh, no, exactly. No, there were shades of John Kerry in right. 2004 who said he was for the Iraq uh, funding before he was against it. So I think the problem is for Hillary Clinton isn't necessarily even the pulling to the left so much as what does she really believe, right? So when she comes out against the trade deal that she herself had participated in launching while she was in the Obama administration, it sounds like she is, of course, uh, you know, playing to the liberal base, playing to the unions or against it, and doesn't necessarily sound like it's what she really believes. So I think the Republican uh, attack on her will be who is she? What does she believe? Can we really uh, uh, trust what she's saying now because she said something different a while back? Again, you'll hear.